Good morning. I guess good afternoon. <laughs> it's Monday. <laughs> and I don't know why. I do know why. It's so hard. I'm sharing today with you why it's so important for me to make changes in my health right now. And I've been working on this for a week. And the homework for element two in our life book with Dr. A is to share this. And I go live all the time. So why am I uncomfortable? Because I'm afraid of what people will think. I'm afraid people are going to judge me that you are where you are. Like, why are you talking about improving or changing your health? And so here I am in this place of I'm thinking about what other people are thinking instead of just sucking it up and doing my homework because I want to earn the badge <laughs> because this is important to me. But this last weekend, Neil and I went on a 26 plus mile bike ride. Two years ago, I walked my bike down a path. Every time I would meet a person alongside the, the trail, I got off my bike and waited for them to pass. I had no belief or idea yet that I could tackle a project like a 26 mile marathon bike ride. And it is stepping into those uncomfortable places in our life that have helped me move forward and so I reached a healthy weight goal five years ago I reached my high school weight I'm at my healthiest BMI I'm at my healthiest weight and size for me I'm living a fully active and engaged life and why is it important for me to make some changes now I want to continue down that path towards optimal health I want to keep improving areas of my own life so that I can see me living at my healthiest weight my healthiest size my healthiest physical emotional mental self in three years, in five years, in 10 years, in 20 years. I can see that I do have, I have inherited good genes and longevity in my family. And I also have a history of illness and disease in my family. And so at 58, I'm at this place where there's a crossroads where I get to decide which path I want to go on, which direction do I want to take the course of my health. And so I'm sharing that with you today because that is why I'm here. That is what is propelling me. Dr. A said, add the juice to the why. The why. So why is it so important that I'm doing this now? Because today, right now, I have the ability to make those changes in my life that's actually going to propel me to living the future I want to create. We get to, we get to create our future. But it starts today. And the things that I'm willing to do right now, because I've made that decision, I'm really willing right now to step into working through sugar addiction and giving myself permission to say no and finding freedom in the fact that when I say no it keeps me developing that armor it's been five weeks for me that I haven't had sugar brought it in other than the stuff that's naturally in food I haven't had the goodies I haven't had the sweet treats I've actually said no and passed and I'm working on that. I'm working on that. 
that's something I'm willing to do right now. It's something maybe I wasn't willing to step into before, but I know that when I decide to step into that and start conquering my own issues, that I'm actually gonna find some freedoms. And that's what I want. I want to be free of being the always falling because I sugar is a hard thing for me. I like sweets and goodies. And I don't have the ability like some of you that maybe can have a cookie or a bite of cookie or a piece of cake or one slice and can walk away. But I'm willing to work on that. That's where I want this future me to go. I want my future me not to be imprisoned to flipping sugar. So I'm working on that. I'm willing to work on that right now. So why am I choosing this and why did I give myself on a readiness scale from 1 to 10? Why now? Because I want to be living a longer, healthier, more active, more vibrant life, fully engaged fully present in the moment, living with the things that really matter to me, building those strong relationships with my friends and family, being engaged, doing activities like climbing a bluff with my husband <laughs> and coming back down. My fear of heights, I'm stepping in and that came from the confidence as I started to create this life that I'm living today the more I step in, the more confident I get. And the more confident I get, the more I'm encouraged to take a step into another unknown thing and be curious instead of afraid. I spent too many years living in a state of fear and shaking in my boots, afraid of what you might think, or afraid of what they might think, or afraid of what I might say, or and learning to be comfortable knowing I have a voice. And me sharing my walk on this journey might open the door for one person to break chains, to find ultimate freedom. to step into their own genius, to step into their own confidence. And it's really hard. This journey of making changes that are sustainable for the rest of our life, it's a lot of head work. It's a lot of heart work. And sometimes we have to even make decisions and sometimes the decisions are easy and sometimes they're hard. But one thing I found that's helping me is how will that temporary thing make me feel in the moment? And I think, oh, I'll feel really good. I'll be satisfied. Or will I? And then I think, how will I feel tomorrow or the next day? When I decide to do that, there's a consequence and I know it. So I have to make my decisions knowing there's other things are going to happen that I'm going to have to be willing to face and own. Something I never did in the past. I really unconsciously walked through my life. I didn't have the connections, they weren't wired. I wasn't wiring my action to behavior, to thing I was doing. I had no clue. I was just walking alongside. How many of us are unconsciously walking through our life? And one day we open a door. And someone said it last week, one of my check-in. Blink, blink. How'd I get here? How are we living in the dash? And Dr. A, I want to live 
in the dash 100% living my very best life. So yes, I'm ready to make the changes I need to to live that life that I have pictured in my mind, that I have created so far, and that I am now willing and ready to continue. And I am running full force to a future that's bright, active, vibrant, engaged, present, my best. And I'm giving it away every day to others. God bless you.